antigen antibody reaction and this would lead to a hemolytic reaction and due to that RBCs are lysed. Same thing is happened after some time of period immediately treatment uh, can be done through stopping that blood transfusion. But after a few days that is about 2 to 6 days after the transfusion the IgG are also produced and that are going to destroy the at extra uh, cellular uh, sorry extra vascular sites and agglutination via opsonization and phagocytosis used to take place. In this condition fever, anemia, increased bilirubin and mild jaundice is generated. The second issue is hemolytic disease of newborn. Raktana bija vibhagne jene apne RH system tarike olakhiye chhe. Itle samanye rite a positive ke negative tarike olakhwa maave chhe. Itle koi pan vyakti a group no hoy to ani sathe sathe ene RH athva uh, sorry RH positive athva RH negative prakar no pan hoy shake. Itle ke a ek a prakar no vyakti RH positive ane a RH negative pan hoy shake. Have eu juhi apne ke ek लेडी आरएच नेगेटिव ग्रुप नीचे तो अने एनु जो लग्न आरएच पॉजिटिव धराता व्यक्ति जोड़े था इन दैट केस द फर्स्ट प्रेगनेंसी इज हैविंग द चांसेस ऑफ एक्वायरिंग आरएच पॉजिटिव ग्रुप इन द फिटस इतने के गर्भित बालक नो आरएच पॉजिटिव वर्ग अवानी घनी बदी शक्यता हो रही है आपने सब जानिए से एम आरएच 85 percent सामान्य रीते होए शे। तो पहली डिलीवरी दर में सेंसिटाइजेशन फेस था इसे। जो अगर कहवा मावे के आ सब्सिक्यूएंट इटले के विजिवार ना एक्सपोज़र मा वधारे मुश्किली कराए शे। तो फर्स्ट टाइम व्हाट हैपेंस इस डी सेंसिटाइजेशन टेक्स प्लेस ड्यूरिंग द डिलीवरी। ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट डिलीवरी � same way what happens in the second time uh, the uh, lady is going to be pregnant and re, uh, having the chances of having rh positive uh, baby is the uh, same 85 percent so what happens that the uh, igm now in the mother turns to igg and in the second uh, fetus the igg can cross the placenta and create the havoc as being described in the mechanism so, in this case erythroblastosis fetalis as a name of disease is going to take place in which the liver and spleen of an individual that baby is going to happen. It may damage the brain or in worst come worst cases the baby is uh, form stillborn. Marelu baalak jan me evi pan shakketa ho chai. To ano matlab evo thayo ke koi negative group wali लेडी होए एने पॉजिटिव ग्रुप ना व्यक्ति जोड़े लगना जी नहीं करवाना ना विज्ञान पास है एनो पर एक सरस मजानो तोड़ से कुम्स नाम ना साइंटिस्ट नो अगर आपने उल्लेख करो ही डेवलप्ड अ रोगाम वैक्सीन विच इस टू बी गिवन टू द लेडी एट द फर्स्ट डिलीवरी आफ्टर 24 टू 48 and this rogam is nothing but anti anti d antibodies if it is introduced timely with the kums reagent uh, with in a appropriate quantity the formation of uh, b cells which are receiving anti d are being blocked by rogam and the things can be prevented matlab ke mitro negative blood group hoy to apan chinta karvani jarur nahi tamara pasandgi na patra sathe parani shakay The next event is drug induced hemolytic anemia. It is like a dawana karane pan apane hypersensitivity thishake. Drugs like penicillin, cephalosporin, streptomycin are uh, heptin like. It is like uh, they are small carrier molecules which is when associated with the protein in the uh, present in the blood or on the RBCs are going to uh, bind and complement mediated lysis takes place. But what happens that as earlier early said that the removal of drug if you remove out the drug the things can be easily sorted out. 
मतलब के रोग में बाहर निकली शक है चित्र में बतायु प्रमाण एट अ डिफरंट टाइम टाइम इंटरवेल द ट्यूब इज कंटेनिंग यूरिन सैम्पल एंड एज द टाइम पास इज एंड द पेनिसिलीन इज विड्रॉन दी ब्लड विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द ब्लड इज विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द यूरिन इज इज डिक्रीजिंग नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू पास ऑन द रेस्ट ऑफ द टाइप थ्री मेकेनिजम हाउ इट हेपन्स एंड वॉट आर द थिंग्स विद दी अजीत सर is explained by my colleague dr hardik bhatti what is the difference between type 2 and type 3 first we understand this thing in case of type 2 hypersensitivity the antigen present on the surface of the cell not it is free form while in case of type 3 the antigen present only in the soluble form so when soluble antigen in higher concentration and soluble immunoglobulin that means immunoglobulin is always soluble but when soluble antigen binds with the immunoglobulin at very high concentration they form a complex this complex is also form in normal condition and this complex is eliminated or removed by the blood phagocytic cells but sometimes the higher concentration of antigen antibody complexes may not be removed by phagocytic cells and they activate complement systems present in the serum or blood the activated complements binds with the immune complex and further it creates or attract the new phagocytic cells and because of this activated phagocytic cells it create a uh, massive inflammation problems and as well as death of the tissue and hemorrhage so the components of the immune complex formation are soluble antigen antibody both are in higher concentration as well as leukocytes and complement systems as shown in the oh. animations in another figure the exact mechanism is that when antigen introduced into the skin it activates complement the activated complement components also degranulate mast cell and basophils present either in the circulatory system or at the site of the immune complex deposition it leads to attraction of neutrophils now neutrophils once again try to clear or remove the immune antigen antibody complex which are linked with complement c3b but they are fail to do this thing and because in frustrated conditions neutrophils produce lytic enzymes and these lytic enzymes create a inflammatory response at the site where immune complexes are deposited normally this immune complexes are deposited where the plasma is filter out once again where the plasma is filter out at their site normally immune complexes are deposited particularly in case of glomerular nephrotis it deposited on the membrane of glomeruli in case of arthritis it deposited on the membrane of the arteries in case of arthritis it deposited on the membrane of synovial and in case of skin it creates rashes so the symptoms may be mild to extensive tissue damage on the basis of where the immune complexes are deposited once again type 3 immune diseases are classified as local immune complex diseases acute systematic immune complex diseases and chronic immune complex diseases so as shown in the arthritis reaction arthritis reaction is normally occurs on the skin where at the site where the antigen is introduced so higher amount of immunoglobulin igg present in the ser in the serum or in the blood binds with the antigen introduced at the site of skin and it create a inflammatory response while in case of acute systematic immune complexes normally we say for example serum sickness in case of passive immunization we use foreign serum to treat some pathogenic conditions in that case the higher amount of serum proteins as well as the foreign serum antigen both are produce immune complexes it creates fever vasculitis arthritis and nephritis the another important autoimmune disease is systematic lupus erythematous in that case the antibody produce against our own antigen for example dna 
histones, non histones RNA and nucleolus. So, because of own antigen is responsible and own immunoglobulin that means IgG is responsible. So, deposition of the immune complexes may lead to inflammation of immune deposits. This immune deposit either on skin, joints, kidney, vessels, heart. So, the morphology is typical normally in case of women a butterfly like rashes develop on the face of the patients and the clinical expression is that progressive renal and vascular disease. Here the diagnosis is based on the tissue biopsy and the drugs which we use for the therapy is anti inflammatory drugs. Now, I would like to invite Dr. Hardik Bhatti to explain type 4 hypersensitive reactions. Uh, the type 4 uh, hypersensitivity reaction is absolutely uh, away from all the three in two terms. Number one is take long time of period and in the second it involves cell mediated. It means it involves cytotoxic T cells and uh, TDH cell. Usually what happens in the sensitization phase the cells are getting activated Ig uh, sorry immunoglobulins and the cells are attached to the surface and the macrophages engulf the pathogen and the entire host cell is going to degrade. In the second phase the Th1 type of cell is going to uh, generate the Tdh type of cell which ultimately kills the cell. This was uh, uh, observed by uh, two member number one is uh, Robert Koch who had observed that the inflammatory response due to macrophage through the inflammation is uh, observed with the mycobacterium uh, mycobacterial culture. Fine. So, the uh, investigation for disease tuberculosis which is the major uh, culprit of uh, Indian scenario the Montex test is performed and this culture is being uh, introduced into the uh, uh, patient suffering from uh, the tuberculosis the <coughs> result is the induration into the uh, forearm of the individual. The other diseases are uh, contact dermatitis and uh, tissue rejection which forms a granuloma and this granuloma is going to is going to form the uh, a large mass where the macrophages containing mycobacterium tuberculosis, uh, mycobacterium leprae, leishmania, herpes uh, simplex viruses are uh, used to observe. So, what happens this granuloma is being uh, taken wall off by the host uh, leprosy na leprosy na patient ne jo joya hoy to emna hath na angala kan na te, terva ane nak no face uh, nak no agar no bhag soft tissues che e baddi j remove thai gheli hoi che je ek karan che hypersensitivity nu athwa to vadhar apad tu inflammation etle ghani baddi var evu pan thai che ke ke uh, uh, immunity je apna maate upyogi che e jo kadach uh, wrong rite athwa to vadhar apad tu uh, reaction batavi de तो अपने नुकसान कारक पन थे शक्के से इसलिए के नुकसान वालों भाग हाइपरसेंसिटिविटी संवेदनशील था वो वो योग्य से पर अति संवेदनशील था वो एक दाज अपने नुकसान कारक पन हो शक्के ऐनो कई अति सर्वत्र वज्जित है ये वो अपने कई है तो कई कसू कसू खोटू नहीं तो मित्रों अपने आनंद आवेश अने समझ 